your worship is truthful. Says a lot of hosts. Hi, beloved in the Lord. My name is a Melody. This is Heavenly Host Vision with Lily. I'm so glad to welcome you to yet another prophetic word. May the Almighty God bless you and keep you safe, sound, and protected. Your worship is truthful. The Lord said your worship is truthful. Because you surrender. Because you are forgiving. Because you are loving. Because you've got compassion in your heart. Because you are honest. Because you are light. And he said your worship is truthful. I have received your worship. Your worship has come to me as a sweet smelling savour. Your worship has come to me as a substance sweet to me. Perhaps you've been worshipping the Lord and worshipping and you didn't know that your worship has been received by the Lord. Lord has to come and confirm to you this moment that your worship has been received by him. Your worship has been received by him. And because your worship has been received by him, you are blessed in your being. You are blessed in your family. You are blessed in your career. You are blessed in your businesses. You are blessed in your education. You are blessed in all areas of your life. Your worship is what God has been seeking. And you've given him the right worship. You've worshipped him the right way. In truth and in spirit. Of course, the true worshipper shall worship the Lord in truth and in spirit. And, you have been, and, you've, been, and you've surrendered. You surrendered. And your worship was, is, was truthful. Proverbs 5 verse 3 verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your hearts and do not lean on your own understanding. You've not leaned, leaned on your own ways of worshipping. You know, your own, because some people worship God with flesh. They worship God with all manner of things. But you surrendered and do not lean on your own understanding, on your own mindset of how to worship God. You surrendered. You, be, you, you went before the Lord as a child, as a baby, to, as a child to worship the Lord. Some of you worship the Lord with your substances. Some of you worship the Lord with declarations, with praises. Some of you worship the Lord. I don't know whatever manner that you used in worshiping the Lord, but it was so holy. It was so innocent. And he said he had worship, that, that he has received your worship. John 4 verse 24. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. He's a spirit. And you've worshipped him in truth and spirit. I don't know what I'm talking to right now. And if you've not already worshipped the Lord in truth and spirit in one in, in a way that best is best suitable to you, you better go and start doing it already. Because it's in a place of receiving your worship. And it's this wash that will give is going to move him. Worship moves the Lord. We've been created to worship the Lord. You move him on the throne and, and cause him to do great and marvelous things. Just like, yeah, like how he said in the, in the previous video. Your worship is needed right now. Your worship is needed right now. I know wherever that you are. Start worshiping the Lord in truth and spirit. That's what he's saying this moment. He's in the business of receiving your worship. Since when did you worship the Lord with all your heart and surrendering and, and just and just being like a baby and, and just and just some of you just just fall frustrate and some of you just worship the Lord. You just worship. I don't know how you want to worship the Lord. Go ahead and worship him. Hallelujah. Go ahead and worship him. Glory to God. I love you.
but Christ loves even better. Faith is our vehicle of our strength. See the next video. Hallelujah.